Hi everybody, my name's Emma and I'm from Well Dress Styling and I'm going to be taking you through some spring summer 21 trends. Thanks very much for watching. Grab yourselves a cup of tea or a glass of wine or a G&T if you've not got that already and settle in for 20 odd minutes of trend. Hi, so uh, like myself I should think a lot of you have been wrapped up in um, sweatshirts, jogging bottoms, leggings, really big thick coats over the last few months and we've probably all forgotten about fashion. Well the sun has really been shining this week, this week. the flowers are coming out and we've had the roadmap to normality released so we can now start thinking about wearing real clothes and getting out there but we're probably thinking what is in fashion hopefully this guide tonight will help you. So just a little bit about what we'll be talking about. For those who don't know me, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and then we'll talk about the key themes and messages uh, for Spring Summer 21, the design principles that have been applied using those messages and then what those trends actually look like um, and then what to keep from your current wardrobe and what to invest in. So a little bit about myself, um, I'm based in Peterborough and I am a former fashion buyer turned fashion stylist. I've worked in the fashion industry for coming up to 13 years this year. Um, and I first fell in love with fashion as a little girl, uh, watching the clothes show with Jeff Banks um, on Sunday afternoons with my mum, totally struck by the glamour of the catwalk. I studied for four years at the London College of Fashion and then have worked um, up the buying career path um, for Debenhams Next, George, Jules, and yours clothing more recently. And um, so that's been really, really wonderful to get to know how garments are manufactured, the best fabrics, the best fit. And for the last year have been working as a fashion stylist for well-dressed styling. So onto the trends for spring, summer 21, um, just to kind of take you on a bit of a story of how we get to a trend. We first start with the really broad design themes that are set by um, the fashion houses, um, and the yarn fairs kind of a year and a half in advance but we've faced a very very different year this year so catwalk shows haven't run as normal yarn fairs haven't happened so we'll discuss the reasons why the trends are what they are shortly that then leads to some design principles so how those key messages are translated onto garments and then finally the actual trends themselves so hopefully taking you on this journey will help you really understand the trends what's in fashion and a bit more to why it is in fashion. So starting with the key themes, it's been a very, very different year for design. Um, and we're looking at four key themes. So rebirth is letting go of the past. So we've had a very, very strange year over the last year, and it's kind of looking to nature to um, inspire us, looking at recycled fabrics, not keeping um, things needing to be new all the time and not needing to push um, buying, buying, buying new clothes all the time. So designers have been using old fabrics that they would have previously disregarded. The designers themselves have not had the resources available then to come up with a new collection. So they're looking in their archives of what can we kind of reuse and they're trying to be really innovative with things that they've had from the past. Um, essential is all about less is better. So I feel like this year, we've really learned um, what's really important and it's to be, to be surrounded by the people we love and care about. And actually there's a lot of stuff on the outside that isn't so important. And that also harks back to reducing waste, being more sustainable um, and really focusing on the, the key things in life. And that really does translate through the trends as you'll see shortly. Um, the third theme is nourish. So there's been a lot of illness around the world over the last year is an understatement. So it's all about healing um, and wellness, which has been a huge focus over the last year. And this is really um, inspired by accentuating the curves of the body and showing off the beautiful shapes that you'll see translate into fashion trends. And then finally liberate. So we've all been kind of confined at home. And this is uh, about getting out there, wearing what we want, expressing ourselves, and this also um, resonates with the whole Black Lives Matter movement that we really want to make a statement. We want to stand up for what we believe in. 
So this all translates into fashion trends that you'll be probably wearing over the next few months. So lots, that's very broad what I've gone through just there, but lots of really um, global issues that are affecting the fashion that has been down the runway. So as I've said, it's been a really different year for design. So all the top fashion houses in London, Milan, Paris and New York, all those designers have been working from home. They've had to work over Zoom, video conferencing. They've had to do their fashion shows, not without the circus and the um, audience that are usually there. It's all been streamed live with no audience. And those designers have also had uh, very limited resources um, for them to create these wonderful new collections. So this has really affected a lot of what's been put down the catwalk. Um, there really is a movement about celebrating the joy of getting dressed. We've all had more time at home to think about what we wear. And although we're probably reverting to those comfortable clothes, this is now time to think about, OK, I've got a little bit more time. What shall I wear today? Plan your outfit and really enjoy getting dressed. Uh, there's all the parties and weddings that we've missed. So there's the post pandemic party planning theme that you'll see um, all about celebrating wearing your best clothes and feeling fantastic. There was dreaming of holidays. A lot of us were robbed of our wonderful um, saved for holidays last year. So there's a real movement to celebrate um, being by the beach and all those kind of tropical vibes that we've all missed out on and then getting dressed with ease. We've, like I've said, all been at home wearing really, really comfortable clothing. And there's a lot to be said for dressing for comfort rather than dressing for style. So this is really trying to bridge the gap and make being stylish very, very comfortable, which is quite a new thing for fashion. So I'll go into these a little bit more detail. So, as I said, designers haven't had the resources that they've had previously. So they are being more creative. So you can see in the first image, this is a fur that Balenciaga have made out of shoelaces. So it's using old materials in a really new way. And the middle image is JW Anderson. They used a lot of their old tailoring fabrics to create their new uh, fashion collections. And then designers such as Cecile Barnson are using old fabrics again that they never would have used in the past into new collections. A lot of fashion houses destroy um, excess stocks of fabric just to preserve the value of their brand. But that's actually now banned in France. It's a practice that um, has been going on for years and is so, so wasteful. But now um, designers are looking to utilise what they've already got and make the most of it, which is much less wasteful and obviously much more um, environmentally friendly. Uh, celebrating the joy of getting dressed. So no more joggers. Let's have opportunities to get dressed um, in more special ways for at home life. So there are a lot of sequins and sparkles that are just fun and joyful. And also you probably saw all over social media last year, the hashtag dress up Friday um, really, really was very big and sparked off a whole fashion trend and just celebration of getting those clothes on and having a reason to get dressed up because for the last year we really haven't unless we've kind of gone and followed one of these social media frenzies. And that this has really translated onto the catwalks as fabulous clothes to wear at home. Now we're probably not gonna be wearing our sequin ball gowns at home, but it's just quite fun to see that the fashion designers are pushing this from their catwalks. And it will be interesting to see how that translates. So expect to see a few more sequins in day wear. And as I mentioned before, all the cancelled weddings has led to so many dresses um, being designed by fashion retailers. And the dress is really something to celebrate. It's a fun thing to wear. We probably haven't had many opportunities to wear it. So enjoy um, wearing your best dress and buying new dresses for spring, summer 21 and having those opportunities to wear them. Lots of beautiful floor length dresses on the catwalks in gorgeous fabrics and colours. So very exciting. We're going to get those opportunities to dress up again. And dreaming of the beach. We've all missed our holidays. And this was really, really reflected on the catwalk. So there was lots of seaside influenced prints, lots of starfish, lots of fish, lots of espadrilles, lots of beach bags chucked down the catwalk. We've all really missed our holidays and the designers have too. And they've shown us this by being very literal with their design interpretations. So expect to see lots of seaside holiday themed prints in the shops this spring, summer. 
and then getting dressed with ease as this is a really really big area it's about being more comfortable it's about wearing classic pieces and um, that are kind of twists have design twists and little surprise elements in them um, a big thing here is the jacket so that could be the trench coat or a blazer it's these classic pieces that are really really comfortable you can chuck on with everything and as well as this, we've got the shirt. So the shirt's a real key piece. So these are very high fashion interpretations, but hopefully this will take you on the journey of why you'll see what you'll see in the shops and on the online retailers. And it's all about being stylish at home and feeling really comfortable in what you're wearing. And a few more images to show that workwear is gonna become more relaxed. So there still is tailoring, but it's it's a little bit more slouchy. It's a little bit wider in its silhouette and much more comfortable for working at home, looking smart, but feeling really, really relaxed in what you're wearing. And moving on to denim, the skinny jean, we think that it is the end of the skinny jean, which I'm sure many of you will be quite sad about because it is the mainstay of a lot of our wardrobes. We all put a skinny jean on in a nice top for a night out or with trainers in the, at the weekend. But the skinny jean leg profile really is coming to an end, which is exciting because now we have lots more denim shapes. So there's the wide leg, there's the baggy leg, there's the mum jean. Um, this is really, really a huge, huge, huge season for denim. And it's all about getting yourself ready for a new denim shape because we've had our skinnies for a long time. They've been in fashion for over, over 10 years now, but it's time to move on and find something else that fits you and feels amazing. And what's I would say from a stylist point of view is it's all about getting it the fit right on your waist at your smallest waist point. And then the leg, you can have a little bit more freedom with your leg shape, but as long as it fits you well around the waist, you're, you're onto a good one. Um, so on to key trends to follow. So that's some of the design principles and hopefully you'll understand the reasons why they are and kind of key design messages that are going to be out there throughout the high street. Um, but in terms of key trends, what you should be wearing, these are kind of some top, top messages that will keep you in fashion for the whole spring summer season. So starting off really simply black and white, really, really crisp. I'm sure this is something that you can um, reinvent in your own wardrobe, but just both color combinations together look really, really strong. In autumn, winter, it was all about just black. So the white really freshens it up and makes it look relevant for this season. And then pink, um, an absolute favorite of mine personally, um, the color of joy and happiness, the brighter, the better, but all shades of pink are um, on trend. It is the color of the season. It is happy. It's gonna cheer everybody up after this awful year that we've had. So go for pink in one garment and enjoy it. And then continuing the happy vibe, we have feel good prints. So prints that make you feel good, prints that make you smile, prints that make you happy. And we'll see this in all different shapes and forms. Tie dye, which kind of it has a bit of a beach feel to it and nodding to those kind of reminiscing about holidays lost feel. We've got bright colored stripes. We've got huge statement florals. Expect to see lots of really happy, chirpy prints when you go shopping or when you're browsing the online retailers because it is a huge message and it's all designed to make you smile and make you happy. So go for it. Uh, there's lots of lovely little cutout details that are on trend for this season. So um, if you look at the top images, we've got lots of gorgeous, clever cutout detail showing some of the skin, which is very, very sexy. And on this can work on any body shape. You just need to choose the bit of skin that you're happy to show. So it could be your shoulders. It could be your chest. It could be your back. Low backs and open backs are a really big trend. And that really goes well with the occasion wear trend and the opportunity to dress up. So get your back out if you feel good about your back. Um, it's a really big trend for this season. And then the little bralette, this shape in the bottom left. I mean, it's an accessory. Not many of us will be wearing it as a top, but if you can incorporate it into an outfit, um, you will be very, very fashionable. Continuing with showing some skin, the skirt length is creeping up. We have legs out. It is a mini season. So if you have the confidence, get your legs out and continuing showing skin, but not in such an obvious way, sheer fabrics. So sheer fabrics that show a little bit of the skin through, a little bit of the body shape. You can pick a really voluminous shape, but it's all about showing a bit of skin, having a bit of sexiness and having fun with it. 
puff sleeves are a huge trend now this has been around um for a couple of seasons but keep your puff sleeves i am personally a fan of the huge shoulder the huge sleeve i think it's a really fun way to make a fashion statement it's all about the proportions on the rest of your body to make it right for you and feel good about it but shoulders and sleeve detail is literally bigger than ever so have fun with puff sleeves Onto accessories, the pendant necklace. Um, this has not been on trend for a long time, a good 10 years. But if you've kept any of them, dig them all out. It's all about the bigger, the better. Nice long chain or rope detail and then a big, big necklace. Um, and the colours that are in fashion this year, the pinks and the blacks and the whites will really lend themselves to a great canvas for these lovely statement pieces. The big bag. Now, this is a bit of a surprise trend because nobody's really had any reason to go out with a bag unless you go to a supermarket. But this bag shape, the large tote, the large shopper bag is the bag of the season. So if you've got one in the back of your wardrobe, dig it out. You'll see the new bag shapes being promoted by all the brands are this larger profile. Um, and it's a real counteract to the tiny little mini bag that's been in fashion for a couple of years, which has literally got enough room for one of your keys, one of your lipsticks and a couple of um, coins. So total opposite, but really, really fun. Um, so enjoy the large shopper bag this spring, summer. And then a bit of a fun trend, the slipper. We've all been wearing our slippers to death over the last few months and the top fashion houses are very, very aware of this. So the slipper, the house slipper, the slipper shoe um, has crept into quite a lot of high-end retailers and high-end designers collections. So expect to see the high fashionistas out there wearing shoes that look like slippers. Um, use this as an opportunity to invest in the trendiest pair of slippers you've ever owned. It's all about the faux fur, it's all about the shearling, um, and it really is a trend movement. So something quite fun there. So what to keep from your current wardrobe? We spoke about the jeans. Um, don't be wearing your skinny jeans anymore. If you've got mum jeans, make sure you're wearing them. Um, quite a few of you, I should think, do have them in your wardrobe now. They can be tricky to style. So if you have any styling queries, just let me know and I can help. Um, but if you've got them already, you are bang on trend for this season. Nice relaxed blazers. So going back to the easing of dressing um, a lovely slouchy relaxed blazer will do you really really well this spring summer go for a nice neutral shade if you've got one in your wardrobe if not it could be something on your hit list to buy the sweater vest so the v-neck jumpers that are sleeveless that are great layering pieces over shirts and dresses they were really big and new for autumn winter 20 and they're still around for spring summer 20 and they're really good for this time of year because they're a great layering piece they're really transitional um, as it gets a bit warmer, you can wear them just on their own. If you've got any oversized shirts, the shirt is one of the key shapes for this season. So um, drag that out and think of uh, new ways to style that. And again, any questions, just let me know. Black and white, we all own black and I'm sure most of you own white. So think about new ways to put those outfits together. Even just a classic white t-shirt, a pair of black jeans, uh, not skinnies. Um, and a great pendant necklace and you're basically so spring summer 21 and you probably haven't had to spend a penny. Uh, the trench coat, again this goes back to that ease of getting dressed. If you've got a trench coat this is the time and the season to wear it and it actually is the time of year to wear it as it gets a little bit warmer. You don't need your warm coat on as much. Um, so yeah a real key piece that hopefully you've already got in your wardrobe. If not consider investing. New things to invest in are the wide leg jeans. So as I said earlier, it's all about it fitting really, really well on the waist, but you want a nice wide leg profile. You can go baggy if you want, or you can go like the nice wide leg from the top of your thigh down. If you have the opportunity to wear more formal clothes in the office, go for wide leg trousers. So it's not about the skinny slim profile anymore. It's about relaxed, elegant, uh, more casual dressing. And the wide leg trouser can be styled up and styled down beautifully. Pink invest in some pink there's a shade for everybody and it really is the color of the season uh, a shirt look at a great new oversized shirt it's something that in the right color will keep you in fashion and feeling stylish for years to come h&m always do really really good shirts if you don't want to spend too much money 
happy prints look for prints that really make you smile make you feel joyful nothing is too serious this season so look for bright colors and prints that you just feel great about collared knitwear knitwear is still very key especially this time of year as it begins to get a little bit warmer look for nice collared detail there was a huge collars um, on trend last season everything's gone a little bit neater but collars are still really important um, and it's a very very important season for dresses so dresses started really big last spring summer um, and have grown in autumn winter this season it's all about the throw on dress so something easy with a bit of stretch and elastication that you can feel really comfortable in think about where the elastication goes if it goes on your smallest point it's likely to be really really flattering but above all think about clothes that make you feel happy and this is a principle I apply to all my clients when I go through their wardrobes and we sort out everything that they've got do these clothes make you feel happy if they do buy more or wear more wear them more often um but yeah it's all about feeling happy and hopefully through this presentation you've seen that that is a big big message from the fashion retailers and one that I would always push as well so I hope you found this really helpful and um, I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions um, just DM me or send me an email through my website um, or um, message me on Facebook and thank you very much and it's been great to see you let me see how to stop this there we go bye bye thanks